Quilters are a generous bunch that will make a quilt to mark an event, to soothe an illness, to express art. We come together as a community in times of need, always looking for a reason to give a gift of warmth. Quilters are not sewers, we are creators. We are givers and even artists. We love the process, the legacy, and the accomplishment, but mostly we love the story. Every quilt has one. I'm Bernice Wise. I'm from Quincy, Washington. And I started quilting when Cindy gave a bag of quilting supplies to the Christian School Auction, and my husband bought that for me. So then, of course, I had to take classes because she had a class card in there. And, of course, I signed up for every class and then realized I had to start buying fabric. And in one of those classes, she challenged us to use a certain fabric in this here quilt, in any quilt we made. And my granddaughter had just sent me a little picture, tiny picture, of a quilt she wanted. But that quilt pattern, that picture she saw, was from in the 70s. So it was an older time quilt, and of course you couldn't get the pattern, so I said something to Cindy. She said, oh, just design it yourself. So I did. And then I says, well, how do I do a butterfly? Usually when you draw it out, it comes out different. She said, no, just fold it in half and then I'll do it over. Just do it. And so I made that first butterfly. And then it was the great big sunflower down there. And, and I went on to another one and then realized, oh, shoot, I have to make sure they fit together. So then I started measuring and made sure that they all went together. It was hard at first because I was a beginner. I didn't know how to do this stuff and I had never taken an applique thing. Thank goodness we had a lot of quilt classes so Cindy could do that for me. Help me through everything. So patient with me. I have to be so thankful she did that. And. The colors are old colors, but I could was able to get most of those older colors that came from these old quilts. And I know they're old quilt colors because of antique quilts that I have. And they're the same colors. But this is what my granddaughter wanted. And I'm, she was a little girl at the time. And she's used this quilt heavily. It's been washed several times. I, it was these flowers. It was so much fun to just put a little bit of this fabric in here which Cindy had given us. It was fun to see make different butterflies and this was all in the picture but I had to do it myself, arrange it. Um, some of these down here, that big one with the butterflies in and I know that butterfly had the whole thing there and I always enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. I've always enjoyed embroidering, but now quilting is a new thing, and I've in incorporated into a lot of my quilts. I have embroidered blocks and incorporated into a lot of quilts. So, and I've enjoyed this here. As you can see, some of these. You just have to just do it, and I'm challenging some of you younger ones who are just quilting. If you see something you want, challenge yourself to just do it. You can make your own pattern up so easy. I Sure, I followed a sample here, but I had to make a quilt with a pattern with this in. This one has been used, washed several times. See a little stain in there. There's another stain some other place down there. That's great. I know my grandchild has used it. I enjoy. I want to have everybody use my quilts if I make them. And now she has a little girl of her own. And someday that will belong to her daughter. So buy your good fabric so you can enjoy seeing your kids use it. I make, we have 21 grandchildren. They have all had a quilt made by me. And I make a big one when they get married also. But I only have nine of them married so far. 
but I have great grandchildren that are in their 20s already. So they, I don't know if I will be making big quilts for those kids. You know, it's too much for me anymore. I'm losing the feeling in my fingers. Hope you enjoy this here quilt. And like I say, please, if you want to do it, Cindy is so helpful, and I'm sure Brianna will be too. When, you know, but Brianna was a little girl when I started quilting. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.